In today's video, we are doing our 2023 spring clean and decorate with me. I'm so excited to be decorating and cleaning today. I am so excited for the bright colors. If you need some good cleaning motivation and d decor inspo, you came to the right place. I have a mix of everything in today's video and I hope you guys enjoy it and find it motivating and enjoyable and can get some inspiration. Thank you all so much for being here and let's go ahead and get started with this cleaning and decorating. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hi I'm Haley and I'm so happy you're stopping by today's video. I hope you'll stick around. Like I said in the intro, we are going to be decorating for spring and we're just going to do a little bit of cleaning first. I asked on my community tab if you wanted to see more of like cleaning where I'm tidying up the house and then we decorate or if you'd rather just kind of do light cleaning where I'm just kind of dusting the spaces I'm going to decorate and that's kind of the extent of it. And you guys voted that you wanted to see more cleaning. So that is what I have today. I hope you guys all like it. Let me know in the comments if you do like where I'm cleaning and then I decorate or if you'd rather just see more decorating. But we're just gonna get the whole house clean so that way the whole house is a fresh clean slate and then we'll go ahead and get to decorating. I can see you want this too. When I'm decorating for really any like time, mainly like seasonal decor, I really like to lay everything out either on like the table or just in a surrounding area so I can see everything I have. I feel like where it's sat for a year and I've gotten new things, I just don't remember everything that I have and I want to be able to see everything, be able to look at what are my different options for how I can decorate things and I feel like it just takes me less time when I can think about how I want to decorate better that way. video I'm also going to be showing what I got for my daughter for her Easter basket and this year I had so much fun last year I just kind of got like little things like basically just like a dress and um, a cute little stuffed animal for her this year I could actually get some fun activities which is really fun there's still a few things that I want to get but I have some time I just knew if I didn't get it now things would get sold out so I just knew to act quickly and I'm excited to show that um, I think this is one of the like best things about being a mom is being able to get all these little fun activities for the seasons for my daughter um, but I am going to definitely have to get a bigger Easter basket she had one that worked perfect for when she was little and then her grandparents gave her um, a little unicorn one and they're both just too small maybe it's because I'm getting her too many things I don't know but I need to get her a little bit bigger of one but I'm so excited for her to be able to look at everything I know. She is going to absolutely love it all. Talking by yourself and you make me smile. I can listen all night long. I tell you about the time when I first met you. Listen to a favorite song. Walking on the street when you caught my eyes. Something about the way you move. No, that ain't no. Lucky to be yours. Can you take me high? 
Okay, the last few things that I'm going to be doing today before we get to decorating is just spraying all of my appliances down with some spray weight, shining those up, and then I'm going to go ahead and give all of the floors a good vacuum. I feel like I can do this daily, multiple times a day, and they're still gross. So, wanted to get those nice and clean, and something that I really love about my new stick vacuum is that it's a lot quieter than the other vacuum so I don't have to worry about it waking up Waverly if I use it washing apps like I was today. I also forgot that I was going to just kind of dust down this little table. I didn't want to take everything off because I knew for the most part I'm going to be keeping the way this looks pretty similar, just adding in little spring touches. And I had recently wiped that down, so I didn't worry about that too much. Hope it's not this time. Okay, now we're getting into the fun stuff and I'm super excited because this is the first year that I'm decorating this entertainment center. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you know the whole two TV situation. My husband actually is bringing a TV as I speak home. Pro like let's cross our fingers, it all works and everything so we don't have to have our two TV situation anymore. So this is honestly kind of like a temporary setup for how I'm gonna decorate it. All kind of figure out once I get the new TV how I want to decorate it um, and I don't know if I'm gonna show that maybe in just like a short or in the video like in a cleaning video I don't know yet we'll kind of see but this is just kind of how I'm doing it and if you've never watched one of my decorating videos before I really like to show like me going back and forth adjusting things because I feel like that's just real life when I'm decorating I don't get it on the first try I have to keep trying and trying like different decor pieces till I find what I like. Okay, so here I'm just adding a little basket with some filler and then just some eggs from Hobby Lobby and then I'm going ahead and adding a stool and a frog. I didn't realize I was so picky when it came to bunny shopping, but I can't find any that I like. So I'm on the hunt to find a good bunny and then maybe I can switch it out so I don't have to use a frog. Um, and then I decided I wanted to use the spring sign instead of my home sign. Maybe I was blind on you forever while I tried to find someone. I thought I might also want to add this garland that I got from Michael's, but I decided with the TV and all the other decor it was a little too much. I think I might add it once the TV is gone though. <laughs> 
So I got this cute little sign from the dollar store, I believe, a couple years ago. I think it was from the dollar store, yeah. Um, and it just says, hello spring. And I thought it would be cute to add it around the wreath that I already have. It was kind of a pain to do it. I had like string and I messed around with it for a while and it kept falling. So I didn't show that because it would have been like forever long and you would have been bored. but. I finally got it to work and then I'm just trading up my Miller sign for a little bunny with the frame. I think it's super pretty and just adds a nice bright touch. I have been dying to add the bright colors. I got this Easter sign from the dollar store. Honestly, if you guys have not shopped the dollars, uh, maybe that was from Walmart. It was either from Walmart or the dollar store. But if you guys are missing, like not shopping at the dollar store, you guys are missing out. They have some really good finds there. I have to be careful where I put certain things on this table because my daughter's getting tall enough that she can reach. And one thing that I think I'm going to end up moving are the candlesticks. She can't really touch those the way that they are placed, um, but she can touch like that Easter sign and the garland. And if I guess she pulls it in the right way, it could cause a mess and it could fall on her. So I just have to kind of be careful and know that if like there's something in her reach that it's okay if she grabs it. And for the most part, if she is able to touch anything on here, she can't do anything. And the more things like breakables, I have further in the back. So she can't reach those, if that makes sense. Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broke. Now I'm just adding this cute little wreath and I just have one of the over the hanger like wreath hangers but I want to get a command strip so it's more centered on the window and then I'm thinking I might also add it to that wreath and just make it a little bit more full um, and then I'm going ahead and adding this sign from the Dollar Tree and just replacing it with my E sign and I think that's a cute little touch and then I'm going to go ahead and add my cute little hand towel um, to my stove. I want you to know that you'll always be on my mind, even in the hard times. I care about you. How do you move on when? So now we're moving on into the table, and I think this is my favorite space that I decorated. I got the flowers from Hobby Lobby and the home sign from Michaels. And I just love the way it turned out. It's just so bright and fresh. And I honestly think I'm going to keep these flowers out probably for a lot of the summer because they're just so pretty and add a great little brightness to the area. Close the door, baby, pull me closer. Now before it's over, I just want to love you. I 
I absolutely love the way this turned out. It just brings such a great freshness and brightness to my home. And I love when I walk in the door, it stands out enough that it's just so pretty and I absolutely love it. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm putting in my daughter's Easter basket. I got her a little poppet toy, a swimsuit, books, peeps, M&Ms, a little outfit, um, bubbles. I can't remember if I said chalk. And then it's something that I didn't show in this picture is we got her one of those books that you can write but like it only goes on the paper. Um, but that was in her room and she was asleep when I was filming. So... I have it that for her and then I also want to get her a cute little dress and then maybe some sunglasses I feel like those are just like the staples in an Easter basket so those are the few things that I'm gonna be kind of looking for over the next few weeks luckily I have time but I just knew if I didn't get the stuff now I wasn't probably gonna be able to but that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys all so much for watching and being here I hope you guys got some inspiration motivation to tackle the space or decorate a space whatever you need to today and thank you all for being here. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'm going to have another deep cleaning video this week. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, you guys. Faith has got to come.